Hello developers, today we are going to build a fully functional Candy Crush game. By the end of this video, you will have a working game engine that you can customize and use in your own projects. Candy Crush is one of the famous game which has had 250 million plus users since 2016 and the popularity of the game doesn't seem to come down anytime soon. The most important part of building a game like Candy Crush is to have a solid workflow. We have used TypeScript, Gulp and Webpack to build a fully functional Candy Crush game. You will also build a similar solution today. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy one click install kit gives you ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain and many more on candy. Today we'll be using a popular candy kit which is candy crush one click install kit. Now this kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Rihanna for the hands-on walkthrough. Hello, hope you are all excited to build your own Candy Crush gaming application. Without any further delay, we'll jump right into building our own Candy Game app. First of all, to build a Candy Crush game, we need Gulp which we will be using to optimize assets like images and spinning up your web server as well. Another thing we will be using is a game engine called Phaser, which is basically a 2D structured game framework used for making HTML5 games. And then we will also be using AngularJS, which is used for creating a game directive. And finally, an IDE, which is totally of your choice and you're compatible with. Everything you need will be available in the candy kit. Let's start by installing the candy kit. Check the description below for the link to installable. You can download the installer here by clicking on this one click installer icon and you can also follow these instructions to set it up. This will set up your working sandbox application with all the prerequisites needed and the resources as well. You can now pause the video to complete the installation and hit the resume button once ready and we'll jump right into building our own candy game app. Hope you are all set. If you have successfully set up, you can now see your Candy Crush game being started in your web browser. But before playing the game, let's have a closer look at our main file that is game.js. First up, we need properties such as images and audios to make this game look more interesting and fascinating, right? All such properties are available inside this assets folder. Here you can see the images and audios in PNG and MP3 or WAV extensions respectively. Also you can see the levels file about which we will be discussing later in this session. Now moving to the main file that is game.js, we can see a reference path here which refers to a reference.ts file and jumping over to the reference.ts file we can see a set of functions chain tail cookie level swap and configurations have been used these files are nothing but models in which we will be declaring what these models actually have to do for example in the cookie.ts file we will be declaring which cookie should take place in which row and which column and the count for each cookie type as well one more instance for the models file is the level.ts file. Here you can see so many terms like tiles, target score, moves, possible swaps, cookies and so on. Basically our game will be having around 5 levels. For each increasing level, the number of swaps, the number of uh, tiles, the target score, moves, everything will get tougher. That's the most uh, important and interesting thing about game, right? So yes, in the level.ts file, we'll be declaring the way cookies get arranged in the tiles, the way scores increase, the way swap uh, increase, everything will be mentioned in this uh, level.ts file. Hope you all understand how the model files actually work. Next, we are moving to a set of functions we have rendered in the main file from the states folder. 
here from their names itself we can get an idea of what this files actually going to do right for example in the preloader.ts file we can see all those properties that we had inside the assets folder are getting loaded so yes all those uh, properties such as images and audio files are loaded in this uh, preloader.ts file as i mentioned earlier now we will be discussing about the levels.json file which was also available inside that asset folder for example we will have a closer look at one of the json files that is level 0.json here you can see tiles target score and moves uh, with their respective values here you can see tiles target score and moves with their respective values likewise for each increasing levels the tiles target score and moves will get different so yeah that's the thing about main file hope uh, we all got an overview of what this main file actually does now let's move to our browser and start playing our game as we all know in candy crush we have to swipe the candies or cookies to create a set of uh, three or more matching candies when the candies get matched the candies will get crushed and shift to the new level for each increasing level we have to play this way and the timer is set to 30 seconds for our app let's play the game we have to swipe the candy So the level is completed. Hope you all had fun building and playing this fun game. Okay, you now have your working Candy Crush game in your hand. Let's see how you can customize this solution. For example, say you want to change the timer for this level. For that, we need to change the source code, right? For changing the timer count, we have to edit this create timer function, which is basically inside this game scene timer.ts file. In this create timer function, we have a math function like phaser.timer.second cross 30. 30 is what the count of the timer. For example, say you want to lessen it by 15, we have to edit the source code and save the file. Since we are using Gulp, the changes will automatically get synced in and the browser will start working. Now you can here see the timer has been set to 15 and it is getting reduced for each level. So yes, that's it. Congratulations. Now you have a working Candy Crush game in your hand that you can customize for your application as well. Hope you found this session useful. You can find the link to the Candy Crush game kit and many more ready to deploy kits in the description below. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain and many more. Try out Candy Kits now. Hit that subscribe button and join us at the OpenViewer community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects. Thank you for watching this session. Till the next one. Bye bye.